gossip. What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 423. One of the best things to happen thus far in 2021 was Chloe and Halle Bailey each making their own separate Instagram accounts. I love them together, and I love how close their bond is and always has been, but it's been so great watching both of them branch out and show their separate personalities by having their own pages for the first time, at least publicly. If you've been paying attention at all, then you already know Miss Chloe has caused quite the stir within just one week of making her own Instagram page. She already reached 1 million followers, which happened in just a few days, and her name trends literally every time she posts anything. First, it was the Bust It Challenge, then she posted another video to celebrate reaching 1 million followers, and yesterday she posted another video where she's in her underwear for like two seconds, and every single time, people go crazy. But now, people are going crazy for a different reason and getting mad at Chloe for constantly showing off her body. I'll be honest, I had no idea there was any negativity surrounding this situation or being sent toward Chloe for her recent posts. I can't say I'm surprised, people are assholes, but my whole timeline is everyone wanting to pay Chloe's rent and dedicate their lives to serving her because she looks amazing. And from everything I've seen, I'm surprised that so much negativity has made its way to Chloe. But apparently it's been really affecting her because she got on Instagram Live on Sunday night to address the haters, letting everyone know that she doesn't post things for attention or outside validation, and that while she finds the compliments flattering, she never even saw herself in that same sexual light that people are projecting onto her. So the thing is, you guys just get to kind of see who I really am as a person. And I'm, I, I'm really grateful for you all's support and love because it just wouldn't be right of me to show an image of me that I'm not like a made up, clean cut image of me that I'm just not. I'm just inside. I'm such a nerd and I like I'm not worldly at all. Like, ask anyone who knows me, they think I'm like 50 years old in the head. But when I perform and when I make music and when I dance, that's when I get to tap into the sexier side of myself. And that's where I find my confidence. I'm not going to cry this time because y'all know I'd be crying. So it really means a lot to me when I can finally get to a place where I share who I really am. And I've been like really insecure for a long time. And I'm finally like at that place where I have self-confidence. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I get to share that with you all. And I think it's so important and so special when a black woman can be strong and stand in her power in every single way. You know, I do it musically with my songwriting, with my producing. I feel so badass. And I get the same feeling when I dance in my room, when I just own who I am and my body. And for so long, I used to think I was like fat and like I used to hate my stretch marks and my cellulite. I'm not going to (sighs) cry. But it's like now I really love who I am. And... I don't post what I post for validation from anybody or even male attention. It's just me. And a lot of people who know like who's on my like private Instagram, they see like I'm just that's how I find my confidence because it has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body. There's been so many times where I felt I wasn't pretty enough where I just I have a lot of issues with my weight. So it's really it's a pivotal time for me I'm just now learning at like 22 almost 23 that it's okay to be all that you are and to stand in that power and I I think that's why I'm so appreciative of all of you who've been supporting me 
and I'm not going to change who I am. If I did, I would be a catfish and you all wouldn't see the real me that my family sees, that Hallie knows. It's not a shock to her because she know, like I'm like this all the time. And most of the stuff on my page anyways are like months and months old. But I love you all so much that I want to invite you in and bring you all in and show you who I really, really, truly am. I love Chloe and Hallie. I think they're both just two of the most gorgeous people on the planet. But obviously, Chloe has a much more voluptuous body type than her sister does. So it really doesn't matter what she posts, it's going to be sexualized. I mean, both of them could do identical dance moves, wear the exact same outfits or whatever along those lines, and there will be people who say Chloe's doing too much. They do that with their performances already, but now that she has a separate Instagram account, it's just that much more visible. I feel so bad that Chloe's crying over this because, like I said, all I've seen is positivity surrounding her posts. So to think that she doesn't see that or that the negativity drowns that out for her is really sad. Hallie is off in London filming The Little Mermaid, and I know how hard it's been for both of them being separated for what has to be the first time, maybe ever, for this length of time. And Chloe's just trying to embrace herself and spread positivity, and people are just not letting her live. I hate that she felt the need to explain herself, but I hope she keeps posting exactly what she has been. One, because I love that shit, and I selfishly want to keep seeing that on my timeline. But two, because I don't want the people saying she's seeking attention to win and get her to stop posting what makes her feel good. Jealousy is not cute, and hating on the girl for being gorgeous is not making you look any better. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Have you seen any hate toward Chloe on your social media timelines? And what do you think of her response? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The Fortune Thief for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.